Welcome to Tom's Take on the Throwback Thursday. You know, on Tuesday, on a Take Back Tuesday, I talked about WILS and AM radio in 1320, and also I mentioned 1240 AM, Big Jim, 1240, ba bum ba bum I felt, hey, I needed, I was over there on Kavanaugh visiting that studio. I had to come back over here nostalgically to see the part of WGM that I grew up as a kid knowing. Number one, I live, first of all, I lived over here on Kipling Boulevard until 11 years old, just a couple blocks from this massive power. So when I was a kid, it's like, wow, that is a scary tower. I'd see the, the red light. They had a red light flashing on the top of that thing when I was a kid. I don't know if it still flashes. It's an airplane hit. And I don't think it's as tall as it used to be. It might have been, it's got guy wires up there, you can see. But I just remember that being so tall. And we'd come over here and hang out in this field. They had a, a big kind of a pond over here we'd mess around with as kids. And I look up at that thing, oh my God, it's like it's scary for me looking up at things that are tall. I don't like heights, looking down or looking up. And this is the first experience of that. I don't like looking up at a tower from when I'm on the ground. It just, mm, I didn't like it. Anyway, let's get back to WGIM. So one of my experiences as a kid over here on Kipling, Saturday afternoons, I don't think this, this is for a long period of time, but at some juncture, they had wrestling, live wrestling, in the freaking studio i remember my buddy gary and i would walk over here on a saturday and we'd go we'd sit in the front row and it was on live television on channel six my parents would see me on tv i'd get there early get in the front row and watch big time wrestling the chic i remember i saw him live i can't remember some of the other names i remember that the ropes on this was like these like these big orange they're like hoses and you know i was not smart enough when i was young to think that this was all staged or whatever but it was so entertaining and I just wanted to be on TV I talked about this studio before at WGIM last I don't know a year ago when I did a, a Tom thing on WLNS and things about watching Alley Cat and the Mayor as a kid and the Slowpoke and all that stuff but big time wrestling I forgot to mention how much I enjoyed coming to that here at WGIM 1240 again Jack Robbins in the radio tweet, 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 tweet. when when he would go off the air you hear those Robbins chirping and he'd tell his wife uh, get the coffee going honey I'm coming home or something like that I think that's where Jack Robbins started that I was in grade school when Jack Robbins first broke up I still see Jack Robbins walking through Myers anyway that's a throwback Thursday and once again embracing AM radio for the second time the same week, but why not? WILS on Tuesday and WJIM Big Jim 1240. Harold Gross, by the way, one more thing I want to mention. I rumor has it he won this station in a card game. That's how he got the station. And then he hired his son Jim. He was a general manager for several years from the from the 60s all the way to 1985 before Liggett Broadcasting took it over. Anyway, I'm throwing these nuggets of uh, historic information at you. That's probably meaningless to a lot of you, but uh, to me it's important because I'm a greater Lansing kind of guy. Anyway, I hope your Thursday is awesome, terrific. I hope it's a throwback Thursday for you. Think about those wonderful things back in your life, and we'll talk to you tomorrow for another Tom's Take.